Karen, what is our fourth main topic today? Our f- fourth main topic comes from Steve Calderon. Hi, John and crew. Hello. Photos from the set of the upcoming Blue Beetle movie surfaced online. The pics show our first look of lead star Zolo Miraduena, 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 uh, in the Blue Beetle costume. What are your thoughts on the costume? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, Steve. There has been a lot to talk about with regards to Blue Beetle. Number one, when they just announced that they were doing it, which is great because I honestly, despite a couple of years ago, there were reports of Warner Brothers wanting to do a buddy cop movie of Booster Gold and Blue Beetle that got everybody kind of excited. That obviously didn't go anywhere and it never happened. And honestly, if you'd ask me, do I think they'd ever do a Blue Beetle movie? Well, do I think they'd do one within the next five or six or seven years? I probably would have said no. Then they announced they were gonna do it and it was gonna be on HBO Max. But then, fast forward a few weeks after that, they go, you know what? No, this is a theatrical film. This movie is going to go to theaters where there's movies belong. And then, of course, they cast the kid from Cobra Kai. I am not a Cobra Kai fan, but everybody else on the planet is. <laughs> so, that, and you know what? And I do like this kid. The episodes, of, I do like this kid in Zolo. I don't know how to pronounce his last name either. Miraduena, I believe. Miraduena? I'll buy it. So that, that's all that's been coming together and it looks good. And now, some pictures have come out from the set and i gotta say they look pretty darn good uh this comes to us from the folks we're, we're go back to these images in a second this comes to us from folks screen right write the following the first batch of set photos from warner brothers upcoming blue beetle live action adaptation reveals the dc heroes costume one of warner brothers future dcu projects is blue beetle starring cobra kai star zolo Maraduena uh, as Jaime Riaz. While the teenage hero made his live action debut in Smallville season 10, Jaime finally gets the cinematic treatment over 10 years later. Blue Beetle centers on Jaime, who one day discovers a powerful alien scarab that turns him into the iconic DC titular hero. And now now let's bring up those, those other images there. Like, I looked at that, and number one, does it look a little bit Halloween costume? Yeah. But damn good. I I think it looks really good. And you know what? I have no doubt this is going to be one of those things where they have a base costume for the character that they are going to touch up with CGI as kind of like um, uh, Henry Cavill in Man of Steel, where he has the costume, but there was no cape. The cape right. was all added afterwards in CGI, so the cape, so they could control and all that kind of stuff. I have a feeling this is probably the base costume. They're probably going to do CGI over top of it as well. But I got to say, I am somebody who is the costume really all that important to me? No. The, the costume in these things, again, Black Lightning, stupidest looking costume <laughs> in all of television and movies. But damn, I really love that show. So it doesn't really matter to me. But I do have to say, I think this looks pretty good. He looks good in it, too. Because when they announced that they're doing the Jaime Reyes version, I thought, what about Cord? Like... Doing that, amp, you know what? I'm not even worried about that anymore. He looks great in this. So I'm excited by the look of it. Doesn't mean the movie's going to be any good. But hey, if I'd rather like or not like a costume, I'd rather like it. And that looks pretty slick. Rob, you take a look at this. Uh, how do you think it looks to you overall? How do you think they're going to play it out in the movie itself? And what are your thoughts? Well, like you, I mean, I'm, I'm a Ted Cord guy. You know, I love Blue Beetle and, and Booster Gold together, especially in the pages of Justice League International. But that looks good to me. I mean, people might say, hey, it's a little Power Rangers, but I'm like, it's kind of supposed to be. Now, Power Rangers is a little Blue Beetle. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. But I I think this costume looks great. I mean, I think, like you said, it'll probably be enhanced in some way. But, you know, again, when you're looking at that, I I love the face. You know, I love the the, and, and, you know, it's really difficult when you see these costumes in broad daylight because they're going to be lit. You know, they're not under yeah, lighting conditions yeah. and you're looking at this, but, but this looks good. Even in the, um, like where the, I guess the, 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 the arms come or the legs the come, even the, the detail in that kind of purplish, the lower part of the suit, there's a lot of detail there. Uh, it's going to look great on camera. And I think what we're seeing is that looks like the blue beetle from the comics. And I'm like, that's, that's cool. Right or it wrong. Good. If I say this, do you agree or disagree with me? When I say, when you look at this image, 
Like, I think they're definitely going to do CGI wise. They're definitely going to do what they do with Spider-Man's eyes. Like you're, they're going to give, mm. Oh yeah, gonna yeah. Give, like they're going to probably CG the eyes, give some life to the eyes, all that kind of stuff. Probably a lot of the other things on the suit too. Anyway, Aaron, I'm actually really curious to ask you about this because I'm going to go out on a limb that you've never read a blue beetle comic. So just looking at this cold, just, just seeing this outfit and seeing this character, what do you think? What Does it jump out to you? What do you think? I think this looks fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. And and even without the CGI additions, which they're absolutely, they're 100% going to make to it, the level of detail. And if you think about the fact that this is not a staged photo that, you know, the marketing team released that has been retouched and uh, a, a the colors altered in any way. These colors are vibrant. That light blue that's on the chest plate and over the deltoid area and on the helmet, I think is a really beautiful blue. I love the purple that Tom, the, that Rob was talking about. And then these the claws that are wrapped around. The difference in color is vibrant enough. And if you make it pop with that CGI, it's just going to be explosive. And looking at, I was just pulling up some images of Blue Beetle from the comic, and you're absolutely right. What they're going to do with the eyes is going to be so menacing and exciting and piercing. Um, I, I just think this looks fantastic. Again, you have to take into consideration that this is a photo and this is clearly an aerial photo, like something taken from looks like it was taken from far away and zoomed in a little and bit elevated. Yeah, yeah, a little slightly elevated. This is not a professional shot. This was shot on someone's iPhone and it looks fantastic. And even without the helmet on, he looks really good in the costume. He It fits. It works. Um, my big thing is, man, that looks so hot. Thank yeah. God he's got yeah. his umbrella person behind him. But I, I, I mean, I don't even, I guess it's made, I'd be so curious and fascinated to find out what it's actually made of because it looks like it's made of a, a thick rubber polymer kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, Rob, you have some experience it, in this. It looks really hot. Yeah, uh, Rob wears a lot of thick polymer. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah. That's, that's, that's right. a, yes, I do. I, I like do want to say though. You speak. If, sorry, you were just reminding me um, when you said the thing about the uh, the the Power Rangers. Okay, whoever says that this looks anything like Power Rangers is clearly high because if you look <laughs> at photos of the Power Rangers, they were wearing straight up spandex. That. Well, the movie version of them, they oh. they they borrowed a little bit more from a more modern aesthetic. But I but love still. The, I love the fact that you say that this looks like a Halloween costume because that just shows how bougie you are and that you've been going to too many comic cons. Because the if you go to any Halloween outside of like Los Angeles area, hardcore cosplayers, yeah, right. Like I'm talking that that is no hollow. That is definitely an expensive Halloween costume. And if you're dropping that kind of cash on Halloween, good for you. But I think it looks great, and it actually makes me really excited about this movie um, just because this costume is giving me so much insight into who this character is and what I also love about it is the fact that since he has this full covered helmet um, obviously that's what the character in the comic book wears but because there's no exposure of his face unless he specifically takes off this helmet we're going to see a lot of really cool action stuff because they're going to put a mega stunt oh, there's going to be a in lot there. of CGI in this a lot yeah. of CGI hey Ray I wanted to ask you like what do you think about the look of it? you like it I actually like the masks, uh, the close up of the masks. The head kind of looks a little too big, but I mean, it's because there's a human inside that costume. But um, I just want to point out that um, is this the first Latino like uh, DC character lead that uh, I want to say yes. Yeah, because Marvel has one coming with. I still understand oh, why El El why they El couldn't El cast El a real Mark. actor, but they got Bad yeah. Bunny. So they got that thing coming with Bad Bunny well, over the on the Marvel Ghost Star. Rider. I mean, um, it wasn't Ghost Rider. Oh, right, well, but right. yeah, they did that on television. They didn't do yeah, that yeah. in the movies. Right. But this is DC's. I think this might be their first Latino I, one. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, give it up for the Latinos. They get their, they get uh, you know, to be in the front forefront of a superhero movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then like the little kids buying all these figures. You know, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. All right, guys. Question is for you. The first images we've seen from the set was all in the Blue Beetle costume. I actually think it looks fantastic. Maybe you don't. Maybe, maybe you're kind of looking for a little bit of a different iteration. Whatever you guys think about it, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Guys, we want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. You know the one with the delightful ads with good Canadian kid Ryan Reynolds? So look, after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. 
So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just $15 a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't a catch. And guys, that's no joke because for years I've been using one of the major providers and it was fine. But I switched over to Mint Mobile a little while ago. The service has been fantastic. And the big difference is I'm now paying about one third of what I was paying before. And the best part for anybody who just hates their phone bills is that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia.